The Bourne franchise, known for its action-packed spy thrillers, has hit an unprecedented seven-year gap since its last installment. Its extended hiatus surpasses the previous longest gap of five years between the Bourne Ultimatum and the Bourne Legacy and raises doubts about the possibility of a sixth Bourne movie. As of now, the prospects for a new Bourne adventure don't appear promising, while the franchise had been consistently churning out new installments for nearly 15 years, it seems to have come to a standstill for various reasons. This extended break, at least by 21st century standards, has left fans wondering if the Bourne saga will continue to captivate audiences with new stories and thrilling action sequences. After the initial Bourne trilogy, which was produced relatively quickly between 2002 and 2007, the subsequent Bourne films experienced prolonged periods of development. The current hiatus in the franchise was somewhat predicted by the extended timelines for the fourth and fifth entries. The signs of this lengthy development were evident during the promotion of the Bourne Ultimatum. Director Paul Greengrass and star Matt Damon were candid about their desire to take a break from the Bourne series. They both expressed their intentions to pursue new projects and artistic ambitions that didn't align with further Jason Bourne adventures at the time. This openness from the key creative minds behind the franchise signaled a pause in the Bond saga, setting the stage for the current hiatus. In an illuminating interview conducted around the release of the Bourne Ultimatum, Matt Damon inadvertently provided a glimpse into the future that turned out to be quite accurate. At the time, Damon mentioned that he could envision a scenario in which he might return to portraying the character if, after 10 years, Paul Greengrass were to call him with a fresh and innovative approach to the Jason Bourne character. He believed that, with such a significant gap, there could be new possibilities for the character. Ironically, there ended up being only a nine-year gap between Matt Damon's two Bourne movies, not the full ten years he had mentioned. During this interim period, Damon took on roles in various other projects, including his role in The Great Wall, a notable departure from the Bourne series. It's interesting to note that despite this slight deviation from his original timeline, Damon did eventually return to the character of Jason Bourne, keeping fans eagerly anticipating the next chapter in the franchise. Around 2007, Universal Pictures found itself in a situation where it didn't have any major franchises to rely on. At that time, Illumination, known for franchises like Despicable Me, had not yet been established, the Fast and Furious series had not yet reached its peak box office success, and the Jurassic Park franchise was dormant. Universal's track record in 2007 showed only four movies that had crossed the $100 million mark at the domestic box office, with one of them being the costly box office disappointment, Evan Almighty. Given this landscape, Universal was heavily invested in the Bourne franchise and was determined to keep it alive. If Matt Damon had chosen not to return to the role of Jason Bourne, the studio had plans to continue making films set in the Bourne universe. The success of the Bourne series was a significant asset for Universal during a period when it was searching for a reliable blockbuster franchise. By the way guys, before I dive deeper into Season 6 of Jason Bourne, don't forget to give a thumbs up, and for more updates, subscribe to our channel. With that, let's talk about Bourne's new legacy. Despite Universal's desire to continue the Bourne franchise, it wasn't a hasty decision to produce a new Bourne movie after Matt Damon's hiatus. It took a five-year gap for the Bourne legacy to come to fruition. Instead of recasting Jason Bourne, the studio opted to introduce a new protagonist, Aaron Cross, portrayed by Jeremy Renner. The intention was to have Cross embark on adventures with a similar tone to the typical Bourne films, but anchored by an actor who is more open to ongoing Bourne stories. While The Bourne Legacy performed decently at the box office, it didn't achieve spectacular numbers. Although there were initial discussions about making a sequel to The Bourne Legacy, those plans eventually fell by the wayside. This indicates that continuing the Bourne franchise with a new lead character proved to be a challenge in replicating the success of the original series. Universal faced significant challenges in getting new Bourne installments off the ground, which became evident over the years. The studio eventually went to great lengths to bring back Matt Damon and Paul Greengrass for the 2016 film Jason Bourne. While this project performed better at the box office compared to the Bourne legacy, it received a mixed reception from both critics and audiences, signalling that the character's heyday might have passed. Although there were initial discussions about the possibility of more Jason Bourne movies, 
There has been little to no mention of continuing the franchise on the big screen since then. For nine years, Universal struggled to find ways to extend the Bourne saga following the Bourne Ultimatum. However, it seems that all those efforts have since subsided, leaving the future of the franchise uncertain. On the other side, everyone's moved on from Jason Bourne. The reason for the absence of further Bourne movies isn't rooted in complex dramatic factors, but rather in the shifting priorities of those involved in the franchise. Paul Greengrass, an acclaimed director, has numerous projects that capture his attention, making the Bourne series less of a focus for him. Matt Damon, on the other hand, has evolved as an actor, especially now that he's in his 50s. His primary interest lies less in hand-to-hand -hand combat and more in adult dramas. Recent projects like Stillwater, The Last Duel and Air reflect his preference for grounded original storytelling. Damon has also embarked on ventures like Artists' Equity, a production company aimed at supporting amateur-driven films and ensuring profits benefit the filmmakers. None of these pursuits align with the idea of returning to the character of Jason Bourne. In essence, the absence of newborn movies can be attributed to the evolving careers and creative interests of both Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon, which have led them in different directions away from the franchise. Universal Pictures has evolved significantly since 2014 when they greenlit Jason Bourne. They have since established a consistent stream of successful franchises, including Illumination's blockbuster hits and DreamWorks Animation's successes. Additionally, Universal's calendar is filled with a wide range of franchise projects of varying sizes. In essence, Universal is now in a strong position as a studio, regardless of how you look at it. While they wouldn't turn down the opportunity if Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon returned with an exceptional idea for a newborn sequel, the studio no longer needs to exert extensive effort to prolong the Bourne saga. They have a multitude of other successful franchises that can match and even surpass the box office earnings of the Bourne films. Universal's diversified portfolio allows them the flexibility to explore various franchise opportunities beyond Jason Bourne. Not every story or franchise needs to go on indefinitely, and this is an important distinction in today's American pop culture. Many properties, from SpongeBob SquarePants to the Stranger Things universe, are often viewed as endless brands that can be stretched for as long as they're profitable. However, this isn't how art should function, even in genres like action thrillers such as the Bourne franchise. As demonstrated by the underwhelming reception of Jason Bourne, there are instances where it's perfectly acceptable to let a series come to a natural conclusion. It's important to recognize that not everything needs to be perpetually extended, and we should appreciate the Bourne saga for resisting the prevailing trend of never-ending franchise expansions. Sometimes, allowing a story or a character to conclude can be a fitting and respectful choice for the sake of storytelling and artistic integrity. And there you have it. As fans, we might ask ourselves, do we need another Bourne movie, or is it time to embrace the idea of letting the saga rest in peace? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.